What are the essential characteristics? What, it, what does it take to be an organism? Uh, the ability to reproduce. It must interact with its environment and the factors in it. It must have some sort of genetic coding to define itself. The word that I want to use there is self. Like, I think that's, that's the critical feature like however we want to define self you know that that there, there's some sort of like functional continuity of all the parts I guess would be one way to put it. What makes up a paradigm organism is functional integration, physical contiguity, indivisibility, genetic uniformity, development from a single cell, genetic co-transmission, membership in the same species, early germ soma separation, and stable membership. In fact, we can say that a logical definition of the organism is a unit with high cooperation among parts and low actual conflict among parts. A consolidated bundle of adaptations making the organism a unit of near unanimous interests. One type of organism we can look at that proves to be an exception to not one but many of the criteria of the old definition is honeybee colonies which are neither physically contiguous nor are they indivisible or even genetically uniform, being that they are social organisms made up of hundreds of thousands of individual organisms. They aren't the only organisms that are exceptions to these rules. In fact, anglerfish mates are not genetically uniform either due to fusing together while mating, making two genetically unique and uniform creatures become one organism with mixed genetic information. Additionally, Anglerfish do not develop from a single cell, similarly to Dictyostelium, a multi-celled eukaryotic phagotrophic bacteriovore. Dictyostelium is also neither genetically uniform, nor do they develop from a single cell. Other requirements that have since been proven unnecessary is for the thing that we consider an organism to be members of the same species. For example, grass and endophytic fungus are not the same species, despite being very organismal. The fungus feeds off of the energy the grass produces and in turn provides it with numerous benefits like resistance to herbivory and heat stress, as well as suppression of fungal pathogens. Due to the many exceptions to the old definition, a new definition for organism was recently developed. The new definition sticks to just a consolidated bundle of adaptations making the organism a unit of near unanimous interest sans all of the other criteria. As long as there are rules, there will always be exceptions to them. As long as we try to define what an organism is, there will always be things that we can still consider organisms that defy the rules we set for them. The best we can do is just to keep finding the exceptions to our rules and trying to include them in our ever-evolving definitions. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And if you have questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to check out our main channel, Evo TiVo, and our official channel, Evo's Seminar Series. Thank you!